Hey guys, it's Rebecca Overstadt, and today's gonna be a little bit of a different video for me because I've had questions about this. Um, let me show you the date, uh, or not. <laughs> it is Monday, July 22nd. And now you can see it. Okay, so the reason why I'm recording this is people keep asking me how I grow like my hair and nails. I don't really take anything extra for it, but I should have cut my nails last night, which was Sunday. It had been two weeks since I had cut my nails last. So I wanted to show you the length that my nails are right now. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon on Monday. Yeah, it's one. p.m. on July 22nd so I wanted to go ahead and cut my nails um, I'm not gonna you know cut them on camera or anything but what I'm gonna be doing is like an update in about two weeks to let you guys see what my nails look like uh, I might do one next um, next Monday and then the Monday after that to show you just how quickly my nails grow a lot of it is genetics but I also have what they call eggshell nails like if you look at this nail here let me zoom you in. See how it bends? I can bend the entire fingernail down. And it naturally kind of bends right here on my first two fingers on both hands. My nails bend um, on the first two, two fingers really badly. The thumbnail doesn't really bend a whole lot. It is very thick. And if I do bend it, it hurts like pretty bad. But I wanted to go ahead and show you what my nails look like. I don't get acrylics I used to but I became allergic to the liquid that they use to mix with the powder back when I was working in the salon industry so I cannot get acrylic nails very rarely do I paint my nails I don't really do a whole lot other than cut them all down to where there's like no white part showing and I might record how short they are here in just a minute after I get done cutting them all off but I figured I would give you a brief look at what they look like right now and then I will probably come back and record after I chop them all off so you guys can see exactly how short they are. And then I'll do a week update and a two week update. I, I usually cut my nails every two weeks because they get this long within two weeks and it drives me insane because I start clicking on the keyboard at my computer and I can't handle it. It drives me nuts. So hopefully this is helpful if you have questions or anything about different nail things that I might be able to answer. Um, I might have to do some research because it's been uh, more than a decade since I have done nails because I hated doing nails. Manicures were fine, but doing anything specific with nails was kind of um, a pain in the butt for me. I preferred doing skincare related stuff and hair care related stuff when I was in the salon industry at yeah, full service salons. So I will see you guys in a bit for my, well, you'll see this in just a second but I'm gonna go chop all my nails off okay I am back from cutting my nails I'm gonna show you the time so it's 207 so it's been I washed my went ahead and washed my face and whatnot so here are my nails now I literally chop every inch of white off of them that I can so that there is no more white on my nail. I cut it. I cut all of the extra length and whatnot off my nail. So this is what my nails look like right now. And I will see you guys in a week to give you an update on how much these have grown. Hopefully this is helpful to somebody.